Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about time series. Time series is a series of data points or observations either listed or graphed in time order. It is a sequence taken at successive equally spaced points in time. It is a sequence of discrete time data that is happens at distinct and separate points in time. It is plotted using run chart or run sequence plot that is a graph that displays observed data in time sequence. Time series data is a set of observations on the values that a variable takes at different times. A cross-sectional data is data of one or more variables collected at the same point in time. And polled data is the combination of time series data and cross-sectional data. Time series analysis comprises methods for analyzing time series data in order to extract meaningful statistics and other characteristics of a data. Time series forecasting predicts future values based on previously observed values. Methods for time series analysis are frequency domain methods and time domain methods. Frequency domain methods include spectral analysis and wavelet analysis and time domain methods include autocorrelation and correlation analysis. Methods of time series analysis can also be divided into linear and nonlinear and univariate and multivariate. Time series analysis tactics can be divided into parametric and non-parametric methods. Some of the goals of time series analysis are forecasting, signal detection, estimation, clustering, classification, query by content, and anomaly detection. The common notation used for time series analysis is given below. This is a common notation which specifies a time series X which is indexed by the natural numbers. The four components of time series are trend which refers to any systematic change in the level of a series that is its long time direction and the next is seasonality which is the seasonal component of a series is a repeating pattern of increase and decrease in the series that occurs consistently throughout its duration. The next one is the cycles which is a pattern of fluctuation that is the increase or decrease that reoccurs across periods of time. The next one is the randomness, which is the irregular component that represents statistical noise and is analogous to the error terms included in various types of statistical models. The three main models of time series data are autoregressive models, the integrated models, and the moving average models. Combination of these ideas produce autoregressive moving average and autoregressive integrated moving average and the autoregressive fractionally integrated moving average model generalize the former one. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who are preparing for this exam and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.